It's been announced that MPs are going to get a pay rise as of April this year um, of just over £2,000. That will take their salary to almost £79,500. It comes amid continuing chaos over Brexit, of course, with many people feeling the pay rise isn't deserved. Now, do any of you agree with the pay rise? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Just hang on till I give Carol her pitchfork. Uh, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, look, this pay rise is agreed by an independent body. Yes. So MPs have not voted themselves to have a, a pay rise. It's uh, an independent body called the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, and they determine what it should be, and it is an average of the pay rises of public sector workers. So that's what it is. And, I mean, totally, I, I know at the moment that people are incredibly unhappy with what is happening in the country for a whole load of reasons, whichever side of the political debate that they are on. But you know what? We live in a parliamentary democracy. We hear a lot about democracy mm. now. You know, we elect an MP to represent us and we pay them a certain amount of money and they are public servants. Mm. And I think it really gets very difficult to say, right, because we are angry, yeah. what do we want to do? I mean, do we, OK, they shouldn't get any more money. Let's half their money. Let's take their money away. Let's sack them. I mean, how far do we go with this? I know it's difficult, but I think we have to look at it with a cool head. Well, with a, with a cool head, then... Um, Normally, in a, in a normal sort of normal way, if you want a pay rise, you go to your manager and you put forward the points as to why you would you deserve one or well, why. No, no, you, there are automatic taking... pay rises in a public sector. Um, mm. But in 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 most instances, if you haven't performed your duties to the level that is expected of you, then you wouldn't get that pay rise. And many would say, with the the Brexit kind of chaos that's going sure on that's at the moment, true M MPs here. aren't necessarily fulfilling their fulfilling their remit that people voted for. The whole country is in chaos, so I can understand why many people are saying. Why would they then automatically then get one? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't you, make any you sense. You talk about democracy. And they're not upholding it. They're not upholding the result of the referendum. A lot of them are trying to thwart it. They're trying to stop it. And that, to me, is not doing their job properly. So exactly what you say. But, but, I don't begrudge them a pay rise <laughs> if they are doing their jobs. Well, they are proceeding. And they're not. Well, I mean, they are... They're going against the will of the people. No, they're not. Yes, I they are. <laughs> At the moment, they are trying to come to an agreement over mm. what the Brexit withdrawal uh, agreement should look like, and that yeah. is always going to be difficult. And they are arguing their corners, <laughs> whichever degree that? they come. But they are. It's so obvious you know, I mean, what they're trying to do. No, but hang on. Even within going against their constituents, we don't want to talk let, about Brexit. Finish, but even within the Brexit camp of people mm. who absolutely want to leave the European Union, there are differences of opinion, and they are voting in different directions. So this isn't people who want to stay, people who want to go. There is a huge range of opinion. And that's why we see, you know, a number of Tories have left and a number of Labour have left. There's a huge... I think they are doing their job. I think they are doing what they think is best to try and argue this through because it's a huge, huge decision we all have to take and it mm. has to be argued to that messy degree. I think they wouldn't be doing their job if they just sat back and put it through on the nod. Then I would be disappointed. Mm. Well, I can understand why people get upset. <laughs> And just going back to the pay rise yes, element yeah. of it, it's because it's above inflation and there isn't yeah. anybody else I can see in the public no, sector... No, no, it is an average... ...who are getting No, no, it is an average of public sector pay rises. That what is what that, it is. Well, why? Because no-one well, else gets that. Well, they've taken all the public sector pay rises... So what about nurses? ...and they've taken the middle. Teeth. Well, some will be lower, it's the way an average right. works. Yeah. Some will be lower. <laughs> Not very good with that. Some will be higher. Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> well, to, and to give you I an apologize. example... <laughs> the, 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 no, no, but why have they got the higher average, is what I mean? Why is it leading there is no such thing as a higher average. <laughs> they get the average. Why don't they just get inflation? Don't they understand that that, that might placate people? Well, more might... to the point, what do we not understand about averages? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what do you, Carol? What do you what do you feel about the the level of pay that they're re receiving? Because obviously this is this is taking their salaries now to just under eighty thousand pounds. And talking about other public sector professions, a policeman earns. On average, uh, thirty thousand pounds a year. A teacher, thirty-eight thousand pounds a year. A nurse, twenty-three thousand pounds, and a home care is is also twenty-three thousand pounds. What do you think about in terms of an MP and where they place on that? The averages are very difficult, aren't they? I mean, you, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you look at 
senior police officers <laughs> who are earning £200,000 a yeah. year will retire at the age of 55 and will have a gold-plated pension until the day they pop off. So let's not get too distracted by well, exactly. averages. Well, exactly. You only quote the lower-wage people. Mm. You've got the higher-wage people in the councils, uh, in the civil service, that earn twice what the Prime Minister earns. Mm. And if you actually look at it like that, there is an argument for the fact that MPs could be underpaid. But the mm. fact is, the, the quality of the MPs we've got actually reflects what they're paid because you pay peanuts and you get monkeys. <laughs> and in, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, like in, in the world, mm -hmm. in the world, they're quite low paid, our politicians. Because in other countries, they get really qualified, really, really pe people who know what they're doing. And I don't think we do. We get civil servants. Oh, but we have a lot we of get MPs civil servants too, that are very who are smart. Career people politicians that who have deeply. never had a mm. proper job and really just don't know what they're doing. I would rather have fewer MPs paid more. And there's too many of them. 642 of them. What are they all doing all day? And <laughs> can I? Can I? We we did a we did a loose woman poll. We uh, we asked, do you think MPs should be given a pay rise? And 97% said no. They don't think MPs should be given a pay rise. And before we go to the break, you just have to say, you at home would have heard the audience giggling. It wasn't at what necessarily we were saying. It was you had the the giggles. Sorry, what were you giggling so, at? Every so often this happens on live television. I just went and yeah. it was, it, but but it was nothing. It was to because do. we're rubbish at maths. It was. Yeah. It was my, I was laughing with. at my hopeless maths and Kay's um, Did you very know good. what average meant? <laughs> <No, I just, laughs> but, of course, it was, it was just what we call corpsing in the business. It was, it was.